so we are back with another video and we're doing another fragrance video for you guys you guys know that we've been obsessed with doing these and you guys have also been loving them so glad we're on the same page with that today we're going to be talking about our favorite clean aquatic scents so this is more of my perfume preference of course i love a good sweet scent i love a good like fall warm scent i love a good dark nighttime scent but for some reason i just gravitate more towards a clean aquatic scent mm -hmm. so we have a ton of options for you guys today i feel like anybody can find something in this video that they would like definitely so we're gonna go ahead and hop right into it because this video is probably gonna be kind of long okay so the first scent we both have from hermes and yes. this is the hermes blue i can't say the french version of it but this is the blue round one yes. from Hermes. Mm -hmm. So I first discovered this when Kelsey and I were shopping in Cali a few years ago and I wore it back on the flight and the whole time Kelsey kept asking me what I was wearing and it was this. This is probably so the good. longest lasting clean aquatic perfume that I own. This has amazing projection. Yes. And if you guys are into the unisex smell, you're gonna love this. Mm -hmm. It smells like a cologne, but still has like that softness to it that feels feminine. Super fresh, kind of minty almost. Yeah. This is like my second or third bottle of this. So when Kendra put me onto this, I just became addicted yeah, to this. Yeah, you scent. won't stop wearing it. I know, I know. Like it got to the point where I didn't even have to ask what she was wearing. You can smell it and you just know what this is. This has a very dominant smell, but in a subtle way. It's very distinct, like you know exactly what it is. Like I can't yes. really compare a lot of other scents to this. Mm -hmm. If you have it and you smell it on somebody else, you'll know that it's Hermes Blue. Yeah. This is in the earthy and woody family. So if you mm -hmm. like woodsy scents, you're gonna love this, but yes. it's also citrus woods. Mm -hmm. So the notes for this one are juniper berries and patchouli, which is really random for an aquatic scent, but patchouli can go really well in the woodsy family. So the juniper berries, I think, are what give it that minty scent. I was gonna say, maybe like that's what mint I'm that smelling. you're smelling. It's a juniper. Okay, gotcha. Oh, so it's fresh. It's really, really good. So good. So since we're still on the topic of Hermes, this is another Hermes scent that I'm obsessed with. First of all, this packaging, I'm obsessed with green. Um, this is their Sir La Toit scent. So this is clean and aquatic, but this is a fruity clean aquatic type scent. So you would love this if you mm. like pear and apple. It smells like a mixed vacation. With a little bit of like mintiness. And it smells like vacation. This is definitely the ultimate vacation scent. I feel like both of these you can take on a bougie vacation. So this is in the fresh family. The scent type is fresh citrus and woods, which is exactly what this was. And then the key notes for this are apple, pear, and magnolia. So I typically don't even like magnolia, but I like it paired with the pear for some reason. And the smells. apple. And the apple, it like merges together really, really nicely. So if you like clean scents, but you like a tad bit of fruitiness too, you would love, love this scent. Actually, I want to try these mixed together. I've never tried that before. Hmm. I think I might try to mix them because they smell very yeah. similar, but this is a little bit more fruity and this is just like straight up freshness and just like a little bit of woody. So I feel like this is more unisex and this is just more like girly fresh. The next one is from Replica Mason Margiela. I always say that wrong, but this is Sailing Day. We both have this one and this oh, is our first, this is my first like clean aquatic scent from this brand. And y'all, Sailing Day is the ultimate boat day perfume. It really is. And you only want to pack one perfume on a vacation where you know you're going to be doing a lot of boating and mm -hmm. boat activities. Yeah. This mm -hmm. is your fragrance so this says it is aquatic deep seas and it has a very deep aquatic smell Definitely. so this is not a light aquatic scent this is very much a strong aquatic it's smell. more strong it does say it's a, a unisex scent it uh -huh. says female and male fragrance so that's why uh -huh. it's stronger because it's meant for men and women so so good it's very like light and airy but it has a strong projection really great projection i love uh -huh. the projection of this one uh -huh. it's very weird to describe because it still has like that lightness to it like yeah. very fluffy like a cloud but a strong cloud i also think this would be nice for like a pool day as well um, this is just like the ultimate summer scent to me as you can see i used the crap out of this yeah we both have and i also think this is a really good everyday summer scent yes so if you like aquatic scents and you like something that's like kind of in the tommy hill figure family yeah you would really like this because to me this kind of has like a tommy hill figure essence think so yeah hmm. one okay. that has like original scents or something gotcha mm -hmm. so the notes for this are aquatic accord corander and red seaweed essence what is corander i don't know but the scent type is fresh aquatics <laughs> so if you guys are looking for something fresh mm -hmm. 
You're gonna love this. So, Obsessed. so light and airy. It's hard not to like this one. This is not one that you're gonna be like, huh, I'm not sure. Because honestly, this Hermes one, I feel like this is for like people who like a hint of woodsy in their clean scents. Mm -hmm. If you're not into like that woodsy scent, you're not gonna like it because of the patchouli in this one. Selling day is a little bit more practical when yeah. it comes to what everybody would like. Yeah. Cool. This is also from Replica's line. This one I fell in love with as soon as I smelled the display at Sephora. And you guys, Kelsey thinks it smells plain, like a little basic. I oh, think it's like the most okay. perfect go-to fresh out of the shower gym perfume. Like if you're gonna go work out, go on a hike, this is that mm. go-to scent. Gotcha. I wear this to Pilates every week and I always feel like still really pretty when I'm working out. I, I wear perfume everywhere. I do too. Even when I work out. <laughs> Same. And this has become my go-to workout scent. And it mixes well with sweat, if that makes sense. Because you can't wear everything to the gym no. or to your workout classes. Mm -hmm. No. And when I'm at Pilates yeah. and I'm doing like, I'm on the reformer machine, I can kind of smell myself like <laughs> if I'm moving my legs and stuff. Yeah, I know what you mean. You know what we do like some of our mm -hmm. like workouts? I'd be like, oh, somebody smell good. I'd be like, oh wait, that's me. So I this, know what you mean. I love getting like hints of this during our Pilates classes. So this is bubble bath. It's like the perfect, like clean, girly soap. It smells like girly soap, but it's like a, like a little powdery. It's like a really pretty fresh scent. It's not like sharp, it's softer. I love, love this so, so much. So the notes for this one are Soap Bubble Accord, Rose Super Essence, White Musk, and Coconut Milk Accord. So I think the Coconut Milk Accord in this makes it have like a creamier, softness at the end like the dry down is a little creamier but when you first spray it, you for sure smell like the soapiness like the bubble accord so it has like a nice mixture so i think you guys will love this if you're looking for like a go-to fresh shower out of the shower smell as you can see i loved it so i need a new one okay guys so we have one more replica scent and this one is one of their newer clean scents and this is when the rain stops mm -hmm. i have been obsessed with this I've posted it a few times on my story on Instagram. It's so, so good. I feel like this is a clean scent that you can wear year round. Like this is a good winter clean. This is a good spring clean. Mm -hmm. It's a good summer clean. It's all year. Amazing. So I like to wear this to Pilates, me personally. So I like I to wear this one. I do both. Okay. So it doesn't say if it's for men or women. It just says memory mm -hmm. and a fragrance. This description is fresh rain and sun rays. Really so really I'm a little corny. I do wear this when it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it smells like a like a vibey rainy day honestly it's, it's to me it just smells like a wet rose petal oh a wet rose petal okay. that's what it smells like to me oh it's so fresh but like a white rose petal white rose mm -hmm. gotcha gotcha okay mm -hmm. so yeah this is super clean super fresh it's very unique mm -hmm. um to me it's more of the one of the unique scents of replica mm -hmm. they're more their clean scents to me because they have a ton of other really it's amazing scents. It's slightly more feminine than bubble bath. A little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think so too. And I love like the light purple color. Like when I first saw it was like a really light lilac. I it was looks like, clear on camera. It does look clear, but it's <laughs> light purple in person. I yes, promise it you. Is. It's like a drop of purple in there. Yes. But when I first got this, I got the little like sample size of it, the mm -hmm. little spray. And I wore it on um, Christmas Eve actually, because I was going to wear something like warmer and sweeter. But it was that time of the month, you know, and I didn't want to smell like vanilla. I wanted to smell like fresh and clean because I just want to feel cleaner. It honestly smells like... You know like, you feel more gross during that time of the month? I know, you felt like a blob. Yeah, so you want, when you wear something fresh, it just kind of lifts my mood. Yeah, it makes you feel a little cleaner. Yeah. And I sprayed this on and Kelsey was like outside because we were visiting our, our family for Christmas. And I walked past and Kelsey said, what you... What you got on? <laughs> I really did. That was her exact reaction. She literally just stopped me in my tracks. It was such a beautiful day and the wind just blew all her fragrance into my nostrils. Yeah, that's I was true. like, what is that? Yeah. Excellent projection. You immediately went on Sephora to order it like that day. I did. So, so um, I also think a lot of these clean scents I wanted to mention really are excellent on anybody's body chemistry. Because mm -hmm. I know like sweeter scents can be a little tricky with body chemistry. That's true. And you don't really know what works for you until you get like a little tester. Mm -hmm. But I do like that with clean scents it will really work well with anybody's body it's chemistry. So keep that in mind too. And of course this is in the Fresh Aquatics family. Uh -huh. So, which is why it's in this video. But the key notes for this are Aquatic Accord, Rose Petal. You mentioned a flower. I can smell the a rose. A white flower. And Pine Needle. Uh -huh. So I think the Pine Needle is what makes it like super strong. Uh -huh. It gives it really nice projection. Uh -huh. um, so that's why it like slapped me in the face the first time you wore it. Oh. So, so good. It just smells pretty. like a clean out of the shower, fresh, 
you rose know. Rose petal. Rose petal. That's Wet what it's rose like. petals. Amazing. So since we're on the topic of rain, I wanted to mention this one from the brand Commodity. They have a ton of scents that I love. They also have a scent called Book, I think. Smells amazing. Yeah. Um, but this one is called Rain. That's just the name of it. It's called Rain. I need another one, clearly. I've had this for a while. This is also another really nice fresh out of the shower scent. And I also like to wear this one when I work out as well. So it, you know, mixes well with sweat. I know that sounds weird, but you, if you're gonna it's wear important. a perfume to work out, it has to smell nice after you work out too. Mm -hmm. Cause sweet scents do not go well with sweat. I don't think so either. So that's why I prefer these type of scents to work out in. Mm -hmm. And I actually prefer these scents, of course, in the spring and summer. Cause I'm not gonna lie in the summertime, you can't help when you sweat throughout the day. Mm -hmm. So you need a really good perfume that, you know, masks sweat really well. So this rain one is excellent for that. I feel like anybody would love this. It's super simple. So I feel like if you're not that into fragrances and you wanna get something that's super simple, straight to the point, and it just smells like super fresh and clean mm -hmm. and feminine, then I feel like you would really like rain. It definitely is in the same family. <laughs> Funny enough as to when the rain stops. I think so. They do smell very similar to me. I'm not gonna lie. But they're both just as strong as, as the other. So I feel like you can't go wrong with either one. Both very clean. This is a tad bit softer than when the, when the rain stops because that pine needle mm -hmm. and when the rain stops just sets it off and makes it even like stronger. Yeah. The projection. This it's is a, a very pronounced clean. Extremely. This is a little bit softer. More understated. Yeah, way more understated. It honestly smells like if your sweat smelled good. What? If that makes sense. <laughs> so like pheromones. Yeah, like pheromones al almost. I get why you say that. Cause you remember on the other woman when she was like, oh my gosh, I love what you're wearing. What are you wearing? And she was she like, was I like, think she's she just know, sweat. She said, you smell amazing. amazing. What, what is, is that? that? And then she said, I think it's just sweat. That's what this smells like to me. And your sweat smelled good. That makes sense. <laughs> So they used to have commodity on Sephora, but now you have to go directly to their site to get their perfumes. Oh, they have wow. so many to choose from. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, if you're like a super simple girl, they have every scent that you would ever like. So the notes for this one are Dewy Green Accord, Bergamot, and Lemon Verbana. Well, Verbena, whatever that is. And then the middle notes are Jasmine, Freesia, and Lotus Blossom. And I for sure smell the Dewy Green Accord. That's, that's, I can see why well, that's top. That's why it's a top note. It's for sure very green. If you're into like very green, almost like leafy. Yes, and I do smell the lemon. And I also smell the lotus blossom. Yeah, Book is one of my favorites from them, but Rain to me is like their best like clean aquatic scent. So okay. get your hands on Rain. Okay, so my next one is my go-to bedtime scent for some reason. This is sitting on my nightstand and every time I smell it, it puts me in the mood to go to bed. So this is from the brand Toka and this is called Joletta. So this is like the light green one. I have smelled a couple of their other ones. This is still my favorite because it smells like the most unique to me. It smells the best to me out the of all of them. The other ones, I feel like I've smelled them before. They smell okay. They're good, they smell good. They don't smell bad, but I feel like they just smell very common. Um, but this one has a very nice baby shampoo smell. Honestly, it smells like Johnson & Johnson baby shampoo, <laughs> but a little bit more elevated. It has like a really nice soft powdery undertone, but really clean and crisp at the end. I love this so, so much. As you can see, I've been using it quite a bit and I love this bottle too. I it's think so I just pretty. like looking at the bottle. It's so vintage. Toka has gorgeous packaging. Yes. Um. So if you guys are looking for like one of their clean ones, Joletta is your girl. She is a hint of fruity, but for sure that one of their cleaner scents. Well, you kind of make me want to get this. I told you it's good, right? Okay, so the notes for this one are pink tulips, green apple, and vanilla orchid. Not a cord, but orchid, vanilla That's orchid. I like this. So it has a very like soft undertone, but it has like that nice crisp green appleness when you first spray it. Really nice. But like like a a wet green apple, it has like that like crispness to it. It's so so good. If you guys lo are looking for something crisp and powdery with a hint of fruity, you're gonna love this. It's like a really pretty soft, almost like a timeless clean. Like yes. this has probably been like, it smells like a clean smell that they would have worn back in the day. Yeah. You guys know I love anything very timeless and vintage smelling. Yeah. Not old, vintage, <laughs> there's a difference. <laughs> and this has such a beautiful, beautiful, like timeless, crisp, like smell. So love this, I will forever buy this. And just one of my favorite like bedtime set. You're making me want to get it. I know you would like it because of the green apple, of course. So she, good. she loves green apple and pear and all that. 
Okay guys, so I could not do this video and not mention this. This is Dolce & Gabbana light blue. And this is the intense version. I prefer the intense over the original, me personally. Yeah. So this is the baby bottle because I try not to use this that often because I like to savor it. This is my favorite travel perfume. I Yeah, I was gonna say, I like to wear this on the plane. Yeah. It's such a good scent. Like when you walk past people on the airplane and you're wondering what they're wearing, I like to be that person. Mm -hmm. So this is a really good scent that will get you a ton of compliments. Very classic. It's very classic, yes. I was gonna say, it's, when you smell it on somebody, you know exactly what it mm -hmm. is. I also like it because it does have lemon in it. I noticed that I very like summery. a lot of scents with lemon in it for summer. So this is really, really good for summer. Also another really good vacation perfume too. Mm. So to me, this is like the perfume that you put on when you go out to dinner on vacation. Mm. So this is like your nighttime clean scent to I think me. So, too. so this is really good like when you have your makeup all done, you got on your cute slinky dress and you're going to dinner. To me, this is what you would put on to do that. You can wear it during the day too, but I just think of like nighttime summer dinner. Okay. When I smell this for some reason. Also Hermes to me is another good dinner that scent. For me, I think it's more summer dinner scent. Yeah. Yeah, this is the bougiest one out of all of them, but this is my baby. It's yeah, Kendra's okay. fault. Yeah. yeah, I've bought so many bottles of that. So this is considered fresh floral. So mm -hmm. if you like florals, then you would really like this. So the keynotes, lemon. I told y'all I smelled lemon. I smell the lemon too. Lemon, jasmine petals, and musk. So I think the musk makes it more nighttime. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why I think I would want to wear this skin -like. during dinner. Mm -hmm. Yes, I also want to try the new one, the light blue forever. Yeah, I want to try that I want to try that one too. I've heard a lot of good things about that one as well. So yeah, to me this is great for nighttime, summer, dinner. Mm -hmm. So if you're into really clean scents and you're looking for like a go-to nighttime summer scent or nighttime fresh scent, Light blue is your girl. Okay, so my very last one is my newest one that I just recently bought maybe a month ago. And I cannot get enough of this scent. Literally when I can't think of anything else to put on lately, I've been throwing this one on. This is from Nest Fragrances and Kelsey and I have been recently very much into this brand. We have yeah. quite a few from this brand recently. And Wisteria Blue is at the top of my top three list when it comes to Nest Fragrances. If I had to pick three, this is in the top really? three. And they yes. have a lot too. Wisteria Blue is very, very clean, but like a very juicy clean, if that makes sense. It has like a very like full, like if this were like a wine, this would be full body. It's not as soft as Sailing Day and Bubble Bath from Replica. This is like an intense clean. So if you don't like strong scents, you're probably not gonna like this one. It's like a very girly clean smell. There's nothing unisex about this one. This is just very feminine, fresh, floral. This is very girly. It's very girly. There's this is not unisex. No, it's nothing unisex about Wisteria Blue. And the notes for this one are classic florals. So if you don't like florals, you're probably not gonna like this one because this is a true floral. I love floral scents. When I smell floral, it has to have like a fresh youthfulness to it because some floral can go a little older to Elderly, me. Elderly, yeah. And this one has like a very youthful floral. And it has it French wisteria, watery notes, Bulgarian rose, and imperial jasmine. So I feel like the jasmine and the Bulgarian rose give it like a little juiciness to it. Because for me, when you smell something that's just classic florals, you wanna feel like some kind of like sensuality in the scent because otherwise it'll just smell a little too zesty, like make you wanna sneeze. Yeah, that's my issue with a lot of uh, florals. Yeah, too many florals can make you feel like you have allergies. But this one, this girl is really put together. Like she runs her errands, her bills are paid on time. Like that's what I smell when I smell this. And like, it smells like a good everyday clean scent. Very everyday, like you're not gonna like wonder, should I wear this to this? It's for every occasion, honestly, like <laughs> during the day. It's the perfect daytime scent. So I'll finish with one of my classic faves that I clearly need more of. This is Chanel Chance. This is the green one. So this is my personal favorite one. I also like the grapefruit one. That one is really nice as well. Yeah. But good. this is my, like the, the orange one. Yeah, the orange one. I like yeah, that I one. I like that one too. But this one is my all time fave. It's just like a classic scent, but it's still not basic to me. So this says it's in the fresh family, of course, and it's fresh and citrus fruit. So if you want to try the Hermes one, you would also like this one. So the keynotes for this one are citron, 
or is it citron? Citron. Citron, jasmine, and teak wood. I so, smell the teak wood. For yeah, sure. so nice. So this is definitely in the same family as these two Hermes scents. It's so freaking clean. Every time I smell this, I just think of summer because I wore the crap out of this last summer, which is why I look like this. I feel like it smells like very like tomboy clean. Like the teak wood to me gives it like a very nice like androgynous kind of like. Oh, I get why you would say that, girl. Got it. Like okay. with Stereo Blue, she's still girly and clean, but she's like the more tomboy. She's the sister to her and she's the tomboy sister. Yeah. Very edgy. Very edgy. So to me, out of all the Chanel scents, this is the most edgy one to me out of all of them. Yeah. And like Kendra said, it's more on the tomboy side. But I really like this for summer. So this is like one of my go-to summer scents. So this is excellent for every day, I think. I, I don't feel like you have to just wear it at night or during the day. Yeah. It's very like multi-use. You can wear it any time of the day. You can go like from work to like an early dinner with friends. Exactly, with this scent. So this mm -hmm. is a good transitional throughout the day scent. Okay, you guys, so that wraps up our Clean Aquatic Fragrances video. Let us know in the comments if you have some of these fragrances or do you have any other really good clean ones that you think we would like based on the ones that we mentioned today. Mm -hmm. Also, every perfume that we talked about will be linked in the description box if we can find it. We try our best to make sure we have things linked for you guys. We think our next fragrance video is going to be our spring scents or spring and summer, or let us know if you want to do like two separate videos. Yeah, if you guys want it as one video or if you want it as two. Yeah, just spring scents and just summer scents or, or spring, spring and summer. summer. Let us know. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next one.